previously on Big Man Black T-Shirt. Some high-tech Hall Effect sensor testing, some low-tech spindle diddling, some dumpster diving, and an LCD is found. Soldered, wired, and tested. This is a little Arduino Nano clone, $3 on eBay, works wonderfully. I've decided to use it for the tachometer because it's small and, and this little Nano is way more powerful than it needs to be for a tachometer, which is simple. But, you know, it's three bucks and I have them, so I'm decided to use them. I, decided, I first decided to put it in this tiny little black project box here that I already had a, uh, I'd used once for a PIR motion sensor. Let's get ugly. So I believe I successfully got it ported over from the Arduino Uno to the Arduino Nano clone, which I will use in the final tachometer. Everything's working except I haven't now. I need to connect the spindle, the Hall effect sensor input, take it over to the CNC and see that it actually receives. Uh, I am optimistic and we will see. And if that works okay then I'll do the finalization of pulling the nano out of the breadboard and doing the final mounting in the box. Uh, the other day I was looking for the OLED to use on this and I couldn't find it. I found the OLED. It was right in that box that I was looking through. I just, I expected it to still be in some kind of container that, you know, the packing that it came in, I didn't expect it to be out loose like this, so I just didn't see it. But I could have used the OLED on this, but uh, I guess I'll go ahead and use this and I'll just use the OLED for something else. I think I'm going to connect the OLED maybe while I have it here on the breadboard just to see it working. Yeah, I'm going to do that right now because I don't feel like doing anything else because it's 2 a.m. on Sunday and I didn't win the Powerball. Go figure. Although I've decided to use the, uh, the LCD for this project, um, I wanted to just hook up and test the OLED display just for the hell of it. Um, hard to me wishes I had used it for this, but then to be honest it would be, it'd be kind of a waste of a really nice display to just display the RPM of this because once I dial up the speed that I want I'm not going to look at the display anymore so it would be just wasted and so I, it's best that I use the LCD for this because the LCD is very power hungry and it's, it's hard to see from a lot of angles and so just sitting on my bench doing a very simple thing that's a good place for the LCD I'll save this OLED for something else but I thought you guys might want to see how nice it looks. All the words that I don't have. I don't know when uh, when hair came out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that uh, happened. Um, <laughs> hair was it? No, Lost no, the magnets. Uh, here's a close-up of the top of the spindle. You can see the magnet on the far side is still there. The magnet closest to you is gone. Silicon will not hold. JB Weld time! So I had to abandon the uh, the small little black project box because there just wasn't enough room uh, with the wiring. I, I could have crammed it all in there, but the wiring would have had to have been just all crammed together and, and I just didn't want to do that uh, because you know you, you ask for trouble when you start cramming wiring together. Uh, so I put it in this uh, weatherproof box that I had that I hadn't, I've had it for years and hadn't used it. And so I decided to put it in there and just milled out the clear front there and mounted everything in there so you can see the little nano at the bottom. I uh, got the uh, connection for the Hall Effect sensor here with the, uh, the power input, the little 2.1 millimeter barrel jack power input on this side. I uh, got the potentiometer, that's for adjusting the contrast on the backlight or on the LCD. I wound up with a problem with the LCD in that um, the L the LED backlight, the, the backlight for the LCD was way too bright and so I had to go in 
and put, I believe it was a 4.7 ohm resistor in line with the, uh, with the ground to drop the backlight down a little bit uh, so it wasn't washing out. So this is, uh, this is how it looks all finished and mounted and uh, it looks really nice, it's easy to see. Uh, and so that's, uh, that's gonna be a nice little addition. I like being able to just glance down and see where I'm at. And also it'll show me in real time how much, how much my material is bogging things down because it'll drop the RPM in real time and show me, you know, okay, you're losing two or three or four or 500 RPM here. Might be time to, you know, crank that speed up a little bit there, buddy. <laughs>